Hi guys, I hope you are joining me today. Um, we are going to be reading chapter five of um, The Secret Garden. And once again, I'm outside um, in the same clothes, drinking the same coffee. So I'm just out here reading a bunch of chapters and then I'm gonna post them on different days. So it's all the same day for me, just a different day for you. So. It has been raining off and on at my house. So um, if it gets windy and the chimes blow, I apologize if you can't hear me, um, but inside my house is a little crazy. So I am going to sit on the porch and pretend that everything is great and read chapter five of The Secret Garden. Chapter five is called Finding the Key. Now, chapter four, we um, read that more about Lady Craven and why the garden was kept a secret um, because Lady Craven ended up falling out of a tree and dying. Um, and so that is why the garden has been locked up. And so today we are going to see if um, Mary finds the key to the secret garden or not. So let's begin reading chapter five. After a few days of constant rain, it was finally nice enough to play outdoors again. Mary finished breakfast and rushed out of the house and was met by a bright blue sky. The first thing she did was to run 10 times around the flower garden behind the manor. Then she ran to the kitchen gardens. She'd been cooped up for so long, she had lots of energy. That sounds like a bunch of little kids that I know. Running along, she finally came to a stop when she found Ben Weatherstaff. Springtime's coming, he said. Can't you smell it? Mary sniffed deeply. <sighs> yes, she could smell the spring coming. She smiled. The thought of spring excited her. It was funny, she thought. She couldn't remember being excited about anything in her whole life. Mary stood with her eyes closed and her face toward the sun. Suddenly, she heard the soft rustling of tree branches and knew the sound of a bird chirping. She knew it was her robin. Mary opened her eyes and saw him hopping on a nearby branch. She clapped her hands together joyfully. The robin flew so closely to Mary, it made her tremble with excitement. He remembers me, Mary cried happily. She thought to herself right at that very second that perhaps England was not so bad. It was here in England, at Misselwaite Manor, that she had found people to like. Never before had Mary liked anybody, but now she liked Martha and Martha's brother, Dickon, though she had never met him. And she most definitely liked this robin. With a chirp, the robin set out, flying toward the orchard. Mary ran after him. She watched as the robin landed on a branch and sang, bobbing its head from side to side. Mary thought he looked very beautiful, with his satiny waistcoat and his chest puffed so proudly as he chirped. Then, all at once, the robin took off again, this time landing on another branch along the wall. And this, you guys, is just the illustration. So you see Mary along the garden wall. He wants me to follow him, Mary realized with excitement. She skipped after the robin, chirping back to him, pretending to speak to him in his language. I'm talking to creatures just like Dickon does. Mary thought with a smile. Mary followed the robin from tree to tree until it landed on the ground beside a tiny pile of freshly dug earth. Next to the pile was a hole in the ground. Mary looked in. Something was half buried in the soil. It was a piece of metal. She reached out to pick it up and gasped in shock. It was a key, an old key that looked as though it had been buried a long time. Mary could scarcely breathe. 
She lifted the key from the dirt and studied it closely. Could it be? She asked the robin. Could this be the key I am holding? The key to the secret garden? I don't know. You guys, that ends chapter five today and also part one. If you remember, I told you that there were four parts to this story and we are finished with one fourth of the story, which is also one quarter. Uh, we've been talking about that in math. So um, we are going to read part two, the first chapter in part two tomorrow. So I hope you guys will join me tomorrow to read the rest of um, the secret garden. I'll see you next time.